uh, we know that last night the L.A. Lakers raised the banner, literally, for the in-season tournament championship that they won. They went 7-0. and LeBron won the MVP, first ever in-season tournament championship, and uh, first ever MVP, obviously. But since then, Rob, since then, they made you think, I get why they're celebrating it so hard. Because they ain't going to win nothing else. <laughs> They've been one in three since then, beaten by the Mavericks. I don't think Kyrie Irving played in that game. Uh, let me double check that. No, he didn't. He's been out. They beat San, uh, San Antonio, which is no, they only beat him by three. And that's nothing to brag about. Then they lost to the Spurs. Anthony Davis sat that game out. And last night, they lost to the Knicks. And uh, LeBron James, Rob, was asked if, you know, maybe their little slump where they won in three uh, had anything to do with the in-season tournament. Here's what he said. I feel like our energy was up and down throughout the course of the game. I mean, that's, we've been feeling it definitely. You know, like you said, first first time being home since December 5th, and now we hit the road again tomorrow. But I feel like even through after that, we still even competed. We competed, gave ourselves a chance to stay in the game throughout the game. But that was just a tough one for us. How much of the one and three record six Vegas is that combination of things, and how much do you think is is just the come down from what you the accomplished? I mean, it could be a little bit of everything. I don't know. I mean, have you seen Indiana's record since Vegas? What is their record, Rob G? Since Vegas, they are one and four. Yeah, okay. they're struggling. So, so is so he? I, I don't was was LeBron, and I don't know if you heard the rest of the interview. Was he kind of asking that, or was he making a statement? No, like he was making no, a no. statement because there, there was a there was a pause afterwards yes. where he kind of smirked and okay. looked because so he, he knew, knew what they were their record yeah. right. Okay. That because Indiana before that, Chris was was playing. Oh yeah, great. they were playing great. Look, I I think Rob that LeBron clearly. I don't know Rob G if you have the numbers. But his numbers throughout the seven games of the in-season tournament were better, significantly better. Now, his numbers obviously are always good, but they were significantly better in the tournament games, okay? Um, And so I think that LeBron put a lot of emotional energy into winning the first ever in-season tournament. Um. For whatever reason, I mean, a lot of people, Rob, didn't think it was a big deal. It seems to me like he did. I don't want to say obviously, but it it looked to me like he definitely took it as a big deal. He wanted to win the first in-season tournament, and so he put a lot of emotional uh, and mental energy into it and probably made sure that the team did as well, Rob. Anthony Davis's numbers were better, too, during the tournament. And so maybe there, you know, maybe that is why there's a drop off. Now these are just regular, regular season games, right? Uh, if that's the case, I'm fine with it. Um, I think right now a lot of people don't think the in season tournament is that big of a deal, and I get it. But I do think years from now it will be. You know, it'll never be, and nor should it be, anything close to an NBA Finals. But I do think it will be. Uh, a you know a, a a respected tournament and a respected title for those that win them. Um, and so as long as he doesn't get hurt, didn't get hurt, and um, didn't wear himself out, which I think he'll be fine, then I got no problem with LeBron. Um, you know, going at it and and trying to win that tournament. Well, we'll see. I think if. Uh... They catch up to them, or at some point later on in the year, you feel like they never got their mojo back, or whatever it is. I know there's a long way to go. We're in December, but um, and I think I still think that ultimately, if someone gets hurt in that tournament trying to win a midseason championship, that'll be the it's not the gonna thing. be good. I give yeah you that. that that that'll be the one where people will go like, what are we doing here? You know what I mean, Chris? Like like that would be where you would have to question why are we going hard in December trying to win something that's not the championship. And I think that's the danger you have. And I don't know, is it is it just an excuse for LeBron and the Lakers because they've been 
not that great, but then the, the only evidence that they do have is Indiana. And Indiana has scuffled as well uh, since then. So maybe it's legit. Maybe it was too much put into it or energy, Chris, or whatever it was. But The um, thing is this, Rob, and Rob G., you, you have some numbers, I think. They didn't play anymore. And you know, we, we, were, we were arguing about this yesterday. You said it, it, they were just regular season games. You didn't play – they didn't play anymore in the in-season tournament games. Like, because you got there, you didn't play any extra games. Is that – that's clear, Rob G., right? No, I, like they you, could you, wind up playing 83 games, correct, Rob G.? Yeah, I mean, on the season they'll play one extra game. But you mentioned yeah. it, Chris. During that actual tournament week, which you know seems to be the uh, the basis between them being so tired right now, the Lakers and the Pacers each played three games, quarterfinal on Monday, Tuesday, semifinal, and the championship game. Neither team played a back-to-back at all. Every other team played two games during that week, so they played one extra game than everyone else. And the Lakers, you'll recall, had two blowout wins that week right. before the championship game. And then you touched on it earlier, LeBron in the regular season right now averaging 25-7-7 and on 54-39 splits, which is great. But in the tournament, he was 26, 8, and 7 on 57, 60 shooting splits. 60 from three? Yep. Wow. And one of those games, he only played 23 minutes in the end season tournament. Correct. The game they Correct. won by 40 against the uh, right. Pelicans. So, I, Rob, I don't think it's anything to do with physical you know, fatigue. I think it's more emotional, mental fatigue um, than, than anything else. And to be honest, it probably, Rob, it probably – has not. I mean, it, I won't, let me take that back. I, I do think it's a letdown. I think they clearly put LeBron and AD clearly put, and probably the rest of the team because they follow their lead, they clearly put a little extra into winning that tournament. And now it shouldn't be this way, but now it's just regular season games. There's no light at the end of the tunnel until the playoffs. And maybe there was a there's been a brief emotional letdown. I could see that. Yeah, um, you don't want that because that that would be another negative aspect of the tournament, Rob. Right? Like Adam Silver doesn't want like, like the well, final right. four teams having two weeks of bad basketball after the tournament. No, and and that's what they'll have to look into and see if this is right. an aberration or if this is an effect of the the in-season tournament and, and where they go moving forward as they try to figure it out. Because if it is two weeks of bad basketball for them, those teams, teams will definitely bow out and be like, yep. we're, we're good. And, and honestly, as they should. Right, we're good. We don't want to yep. like, throw a monkey wrench into our season. I remember the NHL did that. They stopped the season, Chris, so that they could play in the Olympics. They stopped yep, the whole I league. I, don't, I just don't know if that's good. You know, I get it. Team, guys want to play hockey at that time for their countries. But during the middle of the NHL season, I, I, how was well, that? You know how big hockey was in the no, Olympics. No, international, right. In the Olympics, right, yeah. internationally. I, I mean, get it. Every four years, I kind of get that. But th- we ain't talking about no freaking Olympics. No. As much as I respect this little tournament they got, let's not blow it it's out not of this ilk. Right, I right, it. Right, right. Like, if, and that's a good point, Rob. Like, if years from now, there clearly are letdowns by the teams that are in the championship game or maybe even in the final four over the next few weeks, they would have to do something with it, Rob, because there are teams where that are going to make or miss the play in or playoffs based on a game or two. There are, I mean, heck the Lakers right now, what are they ninth place? Let me check. The, I mean, the Lakers aren't. I, I think they'll be fine. I think they'll, you know, make right the now, right? postseason they're, they're, comfortably. But, yeah, right now they're they're in eighth place by half a game. They're like, I mean, two and a half games ahead of 10th play, or 11th place Golden State. So, you know, these uh, a, a couple of weeks of bad basketball would hurt some teams. So I, I don't think that'll be the case every year. But, um I think that that's something for them to keep an eye on. I will say this too, Rob. Uh, I, you know, we were talking about it yesterday. The Lakers raising the banner. I didn't have a problem with it. You did. Um, I still, I'm fine with them putting the banner up. 
But I do think, Rob, it's it's like where all the other championship banners are. I didn't see that yesterday. I think it should be like on the other side of the arena or something like that. Like, because to differentiate, I know it's black and the other ones are like gold. But they shouldn't be but rubbing should up be against the championship right. trope, uh, of banners. Yeah, because it's not even like on the – it's not even close to the level of a championship, an NBA Finals championship. It is a an in-season tournament, and I get it. They want to add legitimacy. Our friend of the show, Chris Haynes, said Rob today reported that the league did, you know, push it to some degree that the champions, you know, will raise the banner. And I get it because you want to legitimize the tournament, right? Fine. But I do think they should have put it on another, like the, across the arena, on the other side of the arena. Instead of, you know, with the championship, ban- the, the finals championship banners. You never want to um, discount the championships. Yeah, and that's, yeah. that's the problem yeah. with the whole thing. And when you start putting everything on par, Chris, that's what I was saying about right. if it was a, a nice big trophy and they put it in their trophy case in their offices, that would, be, that would be awesome too. But it should be different from what we do when they win a championship. 